Right now, the city of Spring Hill is asking people who live along the Duck River to conserve and reduce their water. The Duck River Agency says the river levels there are low. As, w, as WSMV's uh, Danielle Ledbetter reports, environmentalists say it's a step in the right direction, but they think more needs to be done before the river drives up completely. Doug Jones has fond memories of the Duck River. And we just enjoyed being down there and watching it. It's a special place. But he says there's more to it than just its beauty. It's the third most biodiverse river in the world. Think about that. It's a blessing for us to have it. He thinks the call to ask people to conserve their water will help. Oh, it's a start. No, it's 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 uh, uh, the last couple of weeks when we had the 103 temperatures and the river's drastically gone down. And the rain in the forecast will too. Just a good rain will help your garden or your grass, but it's not going to do anything for that river. It just it's just not enough. But he fears more needs to be done long term. The executive director of the Duck River Agency, Doug Murphy, said they have five alternatives to the Duck River developed in their drought management plan. Jones thinks those alternatives should be a part of their main plan because he believes Columbia Power and Water take too much water from the Duck River overall. They need to reduce the amount that they're withdrawing from the Duck River. It, 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 it's, it's just going to kill it. Columbia Power and Water Systems didn't respond directly to my request for a comment, but they did say online they're committed to providing a safe and efficient water treatment and distribution system for its customers. Jones says to him, it's much bigger than just conserving his own water use. I've got a grandson in there. I want him to grow up on the Duck River. Danielle Wetbetter, WSMV4.